Hey everybody, welcome in. I hope you're all doing really well. We're going to talk about your divine masculine and what they're going through right now. So if you've been intuitively sensing that your masculine's been going through something really big, a major shift, a tower moment, or perhaps multiple tower moments, then this message may resonate with you, okay, and confirm your intuition. So what Spirit's saying is your masculine has been going through sudden rapid ascension or a sudden spontaneous kundalini awakening. And a sudden spontaneous kundalini awakening can be extremely challenging, painful, difficult, scary. And it's it's kind of a serious thing. So masculine, if you're watching, I just saw five five on the timestamp. Fives represent conflict, challenges, and change. If you're experiencing a kundalini awakening, which could involve feeling like there's heat going throughout your body, radiating up your body. You could be feeling dizzy, fatigued, overwhelmed, feelings of immense doom, gloom, and sadness. Feelings like you don't resonate with people that you used to resonate with. You, you feel like you don't belong in the life that you built. You could feel like you're not sure what reality is and what is an illusion. Very confused. So if you're having these symptoms and you're feeling overwhelmed, definitely do some research, kundalini awakening symptoms, how you can handle them, how you can work through them. You can always reach out, find a mentor, a guide, a guru, someone who knows how to walk you through that and help you process things that you might be experiencing. The number one tip that I can give you to help you with this change is to surrender to it. Surrender, surrender, surrender. Allow, allow, allow. Don't fight it. Don't resist it. Don't try to suppress it because it's just going to make things worse. When we have a Kundalini awakening, our chakras, if we have any energy blockages in our chakras, then those are going to be burnt away by the kundalini, right? And it could be very intense. So another, I guess, byproduct of the kundalini awakening is that we start to see the world through new eyes. We have a new perspective on ourselves, on the planet, on other people. We have a higher perspective. We also get more curious about who we are at a soul level and we start diving into self-discovery. We go on this spiritual path, the spiritual journey of self-discovery, um, tapping in to figure out who we really are at a soul level. So when this happens, we're basically compelled to show up in the world in our authentic state. If we try to show up in the world wearing a mask or in an inauthentic way, then it's just not going to jive. It's not going to feel right. You're going to feel like you're in a state of conflict, chaos all the time. You will be at war with yourself. You will be at war with your environment. You could be at war with other people around you. So... When we go through these awakenings, we really must embrace surrender, acceptance, go with the flow, and then start making changes that align with our new frequency. Start making changes that feel good. Okay, for example, you might want to change your diet. You, you may notice that certain people, places, and things fall away. And that's normal. It's a normal shedding process. It can be scary. It can be, there can be feelings of like sadness and, and loss, but at the end of the day, staying, trying to force yourself to remain where you are when you're literally rising in vibration, it's going to be very painful. Okay, so I'm not very eloquent at explaining it, 444 on the timestamp. But I would highly suggest just if you feel called, like digging in, do a little bit more research. Watch some videos, read some books. Okay, so 
what's going on for the masculine right now? Big changes. Justice. It's seeing the truth. It's seeing the truth about themselves and certain karmic patterns that they've been involved in, certain karmic mindsets, and even other relationships in their life. They're seeing the truth about other people and themselves. They're also having this major epiphany that they have not been truthful with themselves, they haven't been truthful with others, and they haven't been showing up authentically in the world. They've been wearing a mask. This is the epiphany your masculine is having. That this is coming on very suddenly. The Three of Cups. This speaks to friends, family, and community. I feel that these are people tied to your masculine that your masculine now sees in a different light. They don't view people in their life like they used to. Their, their perspective has changed. We have the hermit energy on the bottom. So... Definitely, your masculine is going through a dark night of the soul. They're starting to go within to find the answers. Dive deep. Self-discovery. Your masculine's been propelled onto this spiritual journey, onto the spiritual path. The chariot. This happened really fast, you guys. Whatever this shift was for your masculine, it happened extremely fast. They are in dire need of rest, recharging, recovering, regaining their strength, regaining their composure. This has completely knocked the wind right out of them. It's pulled the rug right out from underneath their feet. Another symptom that you can have with kundalini awakening, I just remembered, is you can have like involuntary muscle spasms. So your limbs can just like move on their own and you have no control over them. Very bizarre, hey? So nine of wands. The wounded warrior. You know what? There's this energy of your masculine being very wary of the people in their life, not knowing who they can trust anymore. Because what spirit is showing me is a masculine standing on a field and there's snakes all around him. All around him. So your masculine has been encircled by people that were karmic to them. Your masculine has dealt with a lot of snakes, karmic people. And it's people who are very close to them, like friends, family members, partners, spouses, death and rebirth there's that shedding process there's that transformation yeah ten of swords okay what's your masculine currently working on the six of cups letting go they're letting go yeah look the hangman i didn't even see that on the bottom they're letting go they're letting go of whatever does not serve them. They're seeing the world from a, a different perspective, a higher perspective.
they see themselves differently. They are learning, they're relearning their place in this world because they're asking to be vulnerable, to show the world the real them, to take off the mask, to have that ego death, you know, let the ego crumble, let it dissolve. They could be healing some childhood wounds at this time. They could be thinking about the past and how it continues to affect them to this day. They could be letting go of past hurt, past trauma, learning to forgive and let go. Forgive themselves, forgive others. Yeah, five of cups. Your masculine is definitely letting go of like denser energy right now. Some pain and sadness and heartache from the past. of wands there's a message there's a message in here okay this is for you masculine spirit is saying definitely move your body i'm getting move your body dance yoga something like this that's going to help you transmute this energy release the energy don't let it stay stored in your physical vessel let it move through you trust your instincts is what i'm hearing trust your instincts there may be someone that you want to communicate with and Spirit saying, go ahead, because the channel of communication is open. The road forward is clear. I'm hearing reach out and touch faith. Who sings that? Reach out and touch faith. Bum, 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 bum. Reach out and touch faith. So you're being guided to stay positive, have faith, keep the hope alive. You're going through a difficult space, but things will get be better. This is merely a stage. This too shall pass. Temperance and the Hermit. Yeah, so I feel like there's a lot of healing, like deep, deep healing going on for the masculine right now. And they're learning how to transmute their pain into their power. They're becoming this, this alchemist, this divine alchemist. And they're asking themselves these deep, deep philosophical questions. And they're starting to go within for the answers rather than without. And they're discovering a lot of interesting things about themselves and the world around them. And it really has shifted their perspective about themselves and the way they show up in the world and about other people in their life as well. And
I think feminine, the fact that you've been at a distance from your masculine is really affecting them, affecting them a lot more than they thought it would. And especially at this time in their life, along their journey, they're really going through it and they miss you. They need you. They need your, your healing energy, your healing touch, your healing advice, your voice. Because there's something about you being able to transmute negative energy for your masculine. They can do this for themselves, but I don't know, spirit keeps bringing this message through saying that feminine you act as some sort of filter like a filter okay you have this natural healing ability so your masculine could be craving your energy they might be really wanting to be close to you at this time because of the way that you can help them process and transmute these denser energies yeah four of swords yeah see the star you're healing Oh yeah, and I was also getting that song, Reach Out and Touch Faith. Dun, 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 dun. Reach out and touch faith. Just know that this is part of the sacred plan. Nothing is amiss. Nothing's wrong. Everything's going just as it should, even though it feels like things may be falling apart. It's happening for a sacred reason. Sometimes we just don't have the answers. And we just have to accept and know that eventually we will understand why certain things had to occur in our life in order to propel us on the right path. Oh, Okay, masculine, spirit saying for some of you, there's someone that you are wanting to communicate with from your past. Now, this could be someone that you want to ask, you know, for their forgiveness, or you want to reconnect with this person. Yeah, you may want to heal things with someone from the past by reaching out and communicating with them. And if that's the case, Spirit says yes. Definitely. Definitely do what you're being guided to, to do. Oops. I didn't feel connected to those, so I just put them back. Okay, let's get a card for the feminine. Ooh, the tower. <laughs> Spirit just wants to confirm for you that your masculine is going through tower moments, many tower moments, big, sudden, drastic changes in their life that have just like come out of nowhere and they were not prepared for this at all. Many of them are going through a spontaneous kundalini awakening, you guys, and they have no idea what's going on. No idea. And this could be one of the reasons why they want to reach out to you, especially if they know that you're like spiritual and you would understand these things. Like they're looking for that, that perspective. They're looking for information and wisdom and guidance that you could offer them at this time, I feel. So it's up to you how you want to handle this. If your masculine reaches out, completely up to you. Because, yeah, the tower is big, fast, sudden change. It's an upheaval. Sudden epiphanies. Big, big, big sudden change. Spontaneous, sudden kundalini awakening or a spiritual awakening has definitely occurred here, you guys. And it's just shocked them. It has shocked your masculine. Everything that they've known has crumbled. Their whole world has crumbled. The way they see themselves has changed. The way they view others has changed. Look at this judgment. They're shifting. They're rising in vibration. They're elevating. 
They're becoming someone new. They're like a snake that's grown too large for its skin and it must shed its old skin in order to become that bigger, more expansive version of itself. Yeah, I split the deck on the Ten of Swords, which is letting go. Letting go of that old version of self in order to become someone new. It is the shedding process. That's what your masculine is going through right now. Okay. What can you do to help support your masculine energetically? The magician. Wow. You can send healing thoughts. Yeah, that's the message. You can send healing thoughts. If you meditate, you can ask spirit to send your masculine healing. Or whatever your intuition is guiding you to do at this time. Remain in your power. Remain focused on your goals. There's something about you having very healing hands. Again, you may be an energy worker. You, you could do Reiki, massage. I don't know. You don't have to. But Spirit wants you to know that you have natural healing abilities through your hands. And if some of you are okay with this, you may want to give your Divine Masculine Reiki healing or you may want to give them like a massage, a back rub, a shoulder rub or something like this because you're going to help dissolve something, dissolve a blockage and ease some of this discomfort that they're feeling. You're going to be able to act, like I said before, as some sort of filter to transmute your masculine's pain. Of course, this is totally up to you whether or not you feel guided to do this, okay? You can move mountains with a mere thought, is what Spirit just said. So you don't, you don't have to physically be around your masculine. You don't have to touch them physically with your hands. It, all you have to do is send out a thought. And you can move mountains that way. You can shift things in a positive direction for your masculine. Things are going exactly as planned. This is part of the sacred plan. Also, the divine has brought in a tower moment or multiple tower moments into this masculine's life because they were refusing to budge. And when a tower moment comes into our lives, we cannot ignore it. It has to be dealt with. Tower moments force us to take action. They force our hand. They shake up the energy. They make us move. That's why... It's always better to surrender and go with the flow of life rather than resist. Because if you resist for too long, spirit will come in with tower moments that force our hand. In order to propel us on the right path. It's for our greatest and highest good. But it can be intense. Tower moments can be intense. And we want to avoid them if we can. And the only way to avoid them is by surrendering, allowing, shifting, and making changes. Following the call of our soil. soil. <laughs> Following the call of our soul. Doing what feels more aligned with our new vibration. Not being afraid of change. Stepping into the unknown. Anything else, Spirit, that wishes to come through? Mm. 
Ja. I'm hearing take your time. Take your time. This healing process will take time. The integration will take time. Recovering from this tower moment will take time. I'm hearing things will make sense in due course. Things will make sense in due course, in due time. Don't doubt your path. Stay true to you. I really feel like your masculine is really stepping into this authentic version of themselves because when the kundalini awakening happens, that's what we're forced to do. So don't be surprised if your masculine comes forward in a new energy and it might surprise you. The massive change and shift that has recently occurred for your masculine may shock you as well, Divine Feminine. So be prepared for that. I just put the deck on the Seven of Cups and there's a snake here. And the snake is associated with the Kundalini because the Kundalini is referred to as a coiled snake at the base of our spine. So more reference to a Kundalini awakening. You could be seeing snakes, dreaming about snakes. Also, this is your masculine seeing through the illusion, seeing through the matrix. Yeah, the Ten of Swords. The illusion has crumpled. The mask has fallen. They see the truth. They're also letting go of feelings of being like confused or or, or trapped or wishy-washy or something like this. And they're getting really clear. They're getting clear on who they are, which is beautiful. Right? So I think I'm going to leave it here, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope you found it helpful and I hope it resonated with you. I'm sending you all the good vibes, all the best on your journey, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.